How are you? I'm Francine, thank you. Thank you for waiting for me. Yes. So yeah. nice to meet you. What's your nice name? Nice to meet you. My name is Rati. Rati. Yeah, nice Chris, to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hello, how are you? I'm good, and you? Doing good. Yes, I'm back today. Nice, thank you so much. A nice warm welcome. Yes, we have welcome tea for you, please. And we have a seasonal food and all the cold tablets for you. That is a beautiful sunset view. Man, welcome to Siem Reap, Cambodia. I didn't think I was going to actually be back here this year, but here we are. Good afternoon, guys, and welcome back to another video from here in Bangkok. Now, today we're actually leaving Bangkok and we're heading back to Cambodia. I know there was really nothing in between from when I left uh, Phnom Penh about a week and a half ago to now, but I'm heading back. I've been here for a week and a half. I'm starting to feel a lot better, so to make a long story short, I ended up flying from Phnom Penh back to Bangkok to come to Bangkok Hospital to get my stomach checked out because yeah it was just not feeling well and turns out that I did have a stomach bug and you know basically they told me I gotta get healthier so um, I gotta stop eating like street food and things like that however you know me that's probably not gonna be happening however um, I did take in a lot of uh, the a lot of the stuff that he told me and I need to make some serious life changes so um, I'm worrying about that behind the scenes but as far as video is concerned we're getting back on the road I um, got some antibiotics started feeling good almost immediately it's crazy what going to the doctors can do for you especially when you're hard-headed so um, definitely next time I start feeling you know icky down in my stomach from eating some food I'm probably just gonna go straight to the doctor I think that's the smartest bet so yeah I ended up going to the doctor and they did a full body examination for like a hundred dollars American and then they did a stool sample uh, for fifty dollars American so um, not too bad got results within like 30 minutes of the exams and I mean that included like x-rays EKGs um, blood samples urine samples you know they checked for your cholesterol your sugars all that good stuff so um, they even did x-rays yeah the EKGs man a full examination you get to speak to the doctor all of that's for that price so um, pretty impressive but yeah right now we're leaving and I'm actually heading back to Cambodia I wasn't expecting to come back I was just gonna call it done after Phnom Penh because well to be honest with you guys I well, had intentions on going to Seam Reap and making a big series for you. And once I left, I realized, man, dude, I miss Cambodia so much. Like, I should probably go back there and complete the series. I know how important that is for you guys. A lot of uh, my Cambodian audience has been loyal since day one. So that's the reason why I'm going back. I'm going back to make some more videos. I'm going to spend about a week there. And we'll see what happens after that, where we head off. But, yeah, I'm feeling good, feeling great. Right now, we're... Heading to DMK, Don Wong Airport. Uh, there's two here in Bangkok, BKK, DMK. Um, I prefer DMK to be honest. It just seems to go smoother every time for me. So we're heading there now and yeah, we should be there in about 30 minutes. But yeah, saying bye to this beautiful skyline. Now we're heading to Siem Reap where, yeah, there is no skyline, but it's still a pretty impressive place. I'm excited to show you guys, um, especially for those of you guys who didn't watch the videos previously when I was in Cambodia two years ago that um, you know a lot of you guys are new to the channel I'm excited to show you guys what Siem Reap has to offer it's such a unique place but yeah Bangkok we'll see you again in a few months hopefully hopefully sooner than later it always sucks saying goodbye to this place but I had a nice a nice time here I spent within like the last month about three and a half weeks here so it was good. Much needed. All right, I'll see you guys at the airport. We got here and I realized I didn't have any cash on me, so I had to run inside and go to the ATM, got cash, but now we're good to go. All right, Air Asia, right here. Let's line on up. Um. Um, two fifty. Two fifty. But I, okay. I have to pay for baggage. Okay, pay for baggage. Um, have you checked in already? No, it didn't let me. Okay, you can check in counter the first one. 
Yeah. Okay, so here. Thank you. One year. Yes. Thank you so much. Man, that whole process was incredibly smooth. But yeah, I'm inside of the airport now. I got about 45 minutes to kill. I think I'm going to grab something to eat and maybe head to the lounge for a drink or two. But yeah, let me just show you guys a little bit of this area. I'm not going to show you guys the lounge because, well, to be honest, it's not really that great. I've been to it many times, but I feel like every time I show you guys a lounge, it's quite boring. So yeah, we'll just walk around here for a little bit. There's a lot of currency exchanges. I'm kind of upset I had to hit the ATM again, but because we took the highway here, he ended up having to pay more in order for us to get here. So yeah, the price changed quite a bit. But yeah, 670 baht is what it cost me. So around like 22 US dollars to make it all the way over here. But yeah, like they got a Starbucks, a McDonald's. This here is what we're flying with today. We're taking Air Asia. I believe we're taking one of these little small little things too. Our flight time is only, I think 45 minutes, one hour maybe. Extremely, extremely short. So yeah, here in this airport, this is where you're usually going to find, um, oh, there's the Miracle Lounge. This is where you're usually going to find all of the, the budget airlines and the domestic flights. But you know what? I actually got to go to VAT first. I bought a product and they owe me some money. So let me try and figure out where that is and get that sorted. And I'll see you guys at the gate before we board our flights. Oh no, the VAT refund line looks like it might be pretty long right about now. Okay, so here's the VAT refund line. Wow, this one's actually surprisingly short. Sometimes it's a lot longer than this. But yeah, I bought a $300 microphone the other day. And I believe I'm getting like 40 US dollars back. Well, I just killed about an hour inside of the airport since the last clip. I actually went to the lounge. The lounge sucked as I projected. The food was terrible not really a cozy place to hang out so I went to the next best thing I went to the McDonald's right outside so I had a Big Mac now I'm on my way down to the gate and it should be boarding right now I'm not sure what I what I have whether it's a window seat or not I haven't even checked the boarding pass but I just checked the screen we're still at gate six which is good news but yeah guys I don't know exactly how much of the flight I'm gonna be able to film because well it's literally an hour flight we're going up we're coming down and then we'll be in Seam Reef, and I'm super excited. I haven't been there in two years, and I got nothing to worry about. I know that in Seam Reef, from the last time I remember, Grab didn't work. I'm not sure if that's accurate or not. I'll let you guys know once we make it there, but um, long story short, I actually booked transportation with the hotel I'm staying at as well. I believe it's called the Two Seasons in Seam Reef, so I'm excited about that. I don't do that too often, but for this trip I did, they made it super easy for me, so I said, hell yeah. All right, here we are. We should be boarding soon. Man, it's busy down here. Oh, there's a Burger King down here. I should have waited. All right, here we are, gate six. Yeah, no one's boarded yet. Zone one? Zone one? Yes. Somebody come. All right, that was easy. Now we're on the bus. And next stop, the plane. Actually, you know what? Let me just sit right here for, for now. And you know what's funny is I got to board before everybody else and I didn't pay any extra for this ticket. But yeah, this here is the bus that's gonna take us to the plane. Usually, whenever you fly with um, low budget airlines, they never pay the fees to dock up at the um, actual terminal. So you head off on a bus and then you usually go up some staircases, but yeah. Pretty smooth process, smooth journey, nice and clean bus. I like it. Next stop, Siem Reef, Cambodia. I only sat down because I was the first one in here, but I stood up so that all the elderly people can sit down. I never stand or sit down in the public transportation usually. I always let everybody else sit down. But yeah, it's uh, getting pretty busy and pretty soon we'll be taking off to the plane. But yeah, just thought I'd throw that out there. And also guys, if you're traveling, make sure you have travel insurance. This isn't sponsored at all, but I use Safety Wing. I just got done purchasing my insurance right now for Cambodia because I realized I didn't have it. I'll leave a link for you down below. It supports the channel a lot if you purchase through that link and you also save 10%. So yeah, just plugging that in there because it really does help a lot and it's super important to have. I think everybody shouldn't leave the house without travel insurance.
So this here is our plane today, and we're entering through the front. I'm actually right in the front as well. I think my seat is 6A. But yeah, super busy. I believe this flight is full. Sad to be leaving Thailand, but I'll be back soon. I kind of like entering the plane this way. I could see how it could be hard for elderly people though. I mean, the steps are quite steep, especially if you're carrying hand luggage, but I like viewing the plane before I enter, it's nice. Okay, thank you. 14A? 14A? 14A. Okay, so I'm actually 14A, but yeah, I got a window seat. Nice, I actually haven't had a window seat in, yeah, quite a while, a few months now. But one thing I always find interesting about the Air Asia flights is always the menu. So check this out. I think on this flight, though, if I'm not mistaken, there's not even in flights services available, I just believe. I flew this flight last week actually I believe that they only bring uh, water bottles and cookies because it's so short but yeah look they sell merchandise all kinds of merchandises like pouches for your cables teddy bears oh, I'm a mess with one hand yeah you could buy a sim card on board that's pretty cool chocolates yeah all kinds of stuff and then if you flip it over like they got all kinds of beverages, different teas, coffees, <laughs> coconut coffee, okay. Oh look, boba tea, boba milk tea, mango sticky rice, no man, all kinds of good stuff. Look, teriyaki chicken with rice, Thai basil chicken with rice, nasi lemak. A nice solid menu, but like I said, I don't think any of that stuff's available on the one hour flight, but Hey, nice plane, comfortable. And we're ready to go. The local time now is 15 minutes to 4 p.m. Man, that flight was so easy, literally up and down now. I am regretting, I was just looking at my visa from last week. I'm regretting that I didn't get a multiple entry visa for a few dollars more because then I wouldn't have to do the whole process again. But. Yeah, hopefully it's not terrible. Hopefully there's not a lot of people. Baggage claim. To be honest, my first time I came to Cambodia, I did all the uh, visa process online super easy. But as far as I remember last week when I arrived here as well, the on arrival process wasn't terrible. Oh yeah, it's hot as hell out here. We have made it and that whole process was super easy. Now let's look for the driver. I guess they should have my name right here. Hello, how's it going, bro? Oh, let me help you. Yeah, nice All right, to see can you. Help you. Me? Yes. Thank you, thank you. How are you? I'm Frank Sang, thank you. Thank you for waiting for me. Yes. So yes. nice to meet you. What's your nice name? You, my name is Rati. Rati. Yeah, nice Chris, to meet you. Nice to meet you. Here, I'm, let me help you with this one. It's okay, it's okay. I'll take Chris. the small one. Yeah, oh, it's thank okay. you. Beautiful day here. Yeah, I'm your friend. You're, oh, you've watched my videos yeah, before. Yeah, wow. wow. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. Where are you from? Sim Reap? Sim Reap, yeah. Sim oh, nice. I appreciate that you guys have this service, man. I didn't realize um, Sim Reap yeah. Airport was one hour. Oh, uh, yes. That's crazy. Here, let me help you. Let me help you. It's please. okay. It's okay. It's okay. Please, please. Let me help you. We'll get it's there faster. Come on. It's okay. It's okay. All right. All right. Cambodian hospitality. Hey, it feels good to be back. So, yeah. Um, he is working with Two Seasons Hotel and they arranged this entire ride for me. I'll actually leave um, the contact information for Two Seasons down below. I feel bad, I wanna help him. But yeah, he wants to do it by, on his own. It's very hot today. Yes. Is it, ra is it rainy season right now or no? Oh no, it's a uh, hot season. Hot season, yeah. okay. Season. Yeah, rainy Very season and, and hot. Season. When is rain rainy season in Siem Reap? Not yet. It starts on uh, uh, July. July. Yeah, okay. July. Awesome. So yeah, we made it just in time. Last time I actually took the one dollar train from Bangkok to uh, Siem Reap. Oh wow, this is the ride. Yeah. All right. Oh man, this is beautiful. I wasn't expecting to get picked up in style. Yes. Oh man, this is awesome. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much. Two Seasons Siem Reap Hotel.
Yo, this is class. I was not expecting this. Seriously. No, I definitely recommend um, getting to your hotel this way. I mean, other than than doing it this way, you got to like negotiate with a taxi or a taxi service up there. But no, this is the way to do it. And it always feels good when you got somebody waiting for you with your name on a piece of paper, you know, when you arrive to a country. All right, guys. So uh, 50 minutes or so. You said 50 minutes till we get to the hotel, right? Uh, just around uh, uh, one hour. One it's, hour. It's no traffic jam, we will arrive early. Okay. Only, uh, uh, 50 minutes of uh, 45 minute ride. Cool. Thank you, bro. Thank you. Awesome. So I'll see you guys um, at the hotel. Thank you so much. I love your country. I love Cambodia. Yeah, thank you, sir. So I just found out that this airport that I flew into is actually the new airport. The old airport was 15 kilometers from Siem Reap city center and this one's 50 kilometers and um you said this one opened what three months ago yes yeah, three months ago just to grand open oh okay wow it's a beautiful airport no wonder i thought it was a little bit far last time i came to Siem Reap i thought the airport was near anchor watts so yeah i guess that i guess it did move but yeah still very nice extremely smooth process and yeah, for those of you guys wondering, you can't get a multiple entry visa. It's $30 visa. The other uh, prices, the $40, $50, $60 $40, for um, longer visa options were only available for Japanese, Korean, and Chinese citizens. Oh, look, some cows on the side of the road. A little tuk-tuk over here. Feels good to be back in Cambodia. Yeah, very, very nice. I love Cambodia. Yeah. Okay. So, by the way, where you come from, sir? I come from the United States, California. Ah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So this is the second time. Yeah. Second time in Cambodia. Yep. Oh, okay. So very nice. As you're driving down the highway, you're seeing a bunch of little restaurants and. Uh, small little family kitchens along the sides of the road and it's pretty cool. They got the chicken all propped up fish Definitely got to eat there <laughs> You like the frog? Ah, yeah, frog. Yeah, frog is delicious. The barbecue frog here in um, Cambodia and the sticky rice in ba bamboo sticky rice. Yeah, yeah that's so delicious that's right. Yeah, look at all the cows now seeing the countrysides here in Cambodia are beautiful. A lot different than what you see in Phnom Penh. Very relaxing over here. Yeah. Uh, when the king is in Siem Reap, uh, uh, he's, he, he sleep here. And the royal palace. Yeah, royal palace. Uh, wow. You can you can go inside free of charge. Okay. Yeah, charge. I need to check that out. Yeah, yeah. So now we're entering Siem Reap city center. Yes. Wow, it's so beautiful. Yeah. So this here's the Royal Palace. Yeah, we definitely got to come check out the Royal Palace. Yeah. Free of charge. Okay. Yes. Open every day? Every day. Okay, awesome. What's the name of this river? Uh, Stang Sim Reap. Tang Sim Reap. Stang Sim Reap. Stang Sim Reap. Yeah, Stang Sim Reap. This is where at nights there's always a lot of food, huh? At nighttime? Market, yeah, place. old market. Isn't old market that way? Yes. Straight. Go straight. Yeah. Go straight. Wow! Look at these restaurants. A lot of old nice market, restaurants. Yeah, the pub street. Yeah, near pub street, right? You got so, a lot of people uh, enjoying this, the the this, view. Uh, the left side, Tang Sim Reap. We have uh, 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 celebrate uh, water festival. Oh, okay. When is the festival? Uh, on the uh, November. Oh, in November. Yes. Uh, Man, it is beautiful. Uh, in boat, yeah. Wow. And, uh, yes. Okay, okay. Yeah. yeah, it's beautiful. Look, they got little elephant statues. 2024 letterhead where you can take some photos. Yeah. Yeah, this over, is nice. You know, over there on the side, you can uh, coffee street. Oh, yeah, that's all coffees, huh? Yeah, coffee street. Coffee Auto shops. Coffee street. Oh, all of those are coffee streets. Yeah, models, wow, coffee street, cool. And uh, it costs uh, uh, coffee street. Yeah. How much is a coffee cost there? Uh, around uh, three thousand real in. Uh, Almost one dollar. No, 
across uh, zero point uh, seventy five cent. So we have arrived to the two seasons. Yeah, okay. Wow, this is beautiful. All right, sir, can I give you this? Oh uh, yes. Good for you. One. Here you go, sir. Yeah, A tip for you. Oh, uh, thank you. Thank you, bro. I appreciate you, man. Yeah, thank you for you. Thank you for picking me up. So here we are, the two season seam reap. Hello, how's it going? Good afternoon. Please. Good afternoon. How are you? Very good, sir. Thank Peter. you. Welcome to. Thank you so much. Hotel. I'm so happy to be here. What a beautiful Thank place you. and Thank what you, a beautiful sir. ride. I feel I feel right at home already. So this here is the main entrance uh, to the hotel. My bags are already in here. Thank you so much, Peter. What's your name? My name is Kale. 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 Yeah. Nice to meet you. Wow, this is beautiful. So yeah, this here is the main lobby area of the hotel. Hello, how are you? I'm good, and you? Doing good. Yes, I'm back today. Nice, thank you so much. A nice warm welcome. Yes, we have welcome thing for you, please. And we have a seasonal food and all the cold towels. Awesome, thank you. Should I sit down here? Wow, I love this up here. So this here is all made in wood as well. Man, that is beautiful. I need a piece like that at home. Thank you so much, sir. What's your name? Pick a day, yeah. pick a day. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Enjoy Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you so much. So the welcome thing we make from the honey tea. Honey tea yes. is the welcome drink. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. And these are lotus flowers. Yes. Oh, lotus. those are beautiful. Yes. Thank you, sir. You're Appreciate welcome. it. All right. Cheers. Look at this, guys. This is service. I'm telling you what. And I didn't pay nowhere near as much as I did for the hangover suite in Thailand. That was 300 bucks a night, and I, they didn't even give me a welcome drink. Look at this. Mm. Oh, that is nice. Another cold towel. Can't go wrong. Oh. oh, man, that smell they put on there. It's like a smell of like mint and. Yeah, I'm not sure. It's amazing, though. Nothing like a nice cold towel when walking in. And look, they even gave me a little. Mixed fruit selection, some watermelon and some dragon fruit. Why not? Mm. Bum. So, just received my um, my room and Peter. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you, sir. So, this is where we serve breakfast in the morning. Okay. This here is the breakfast restaurant. Six thirty until ten thirty. Yes. Sir. Okay. And do you guys serve um, also food like a la carte? We also serve food right here. Oh, Our cool. restaurant open from uh, 11 in the morning and close at 10 o'clock at night time. Very nice. Okay. So, yes. Thank you. Cool. Thank you. And how do I actually access the room? So oh, this, this way. This would be the way to the elevator. Man, this is beautiful. Is there a certain name for all of these uh, wooden pieces? Okay. Is there a certain name for this in, in Kamei? Um, these, these figures were named differently. So as you can see here, is the figures of Apsara. Apsara. Yeah, Apsaras. These this are Apsaras. The figures of Vishnu. Vishnu. And this one is uh, the Deva. Sorry, um, Devatra. Devatra. Yes. Wow, these are beautiful. Yes. I love those. Thank you. Sir. Do Cambodian people um, have those inside of their houses or just at um, like hotels? Actually, they have it. Some. Because these woods are very expensive. Yeah, those are expensive, huh? They yeah. look expensive. And the carvings are very quite uh, 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 priceless. These would actually, that big of uh, uh, carvings could cost you around $800. Each one. Each one of them. Yeah, because they look like they take weeks to make. Yes, sir. It could, could be months. Months, wow. Yes, sir. Man, your English is awesome, dude. Thank you. I love it. How'd you learn the English? I went to this orphanage uh, school in Siem Reap. Yes, in Siem Reap, okay. So this is your room? This is my room. Let me grab my key. Wherever I put that. I left my bags downstairs. It's okay, we'll bring it. Okay, thank you. Um, where did I put my bag? My key, I mean. Here it is. Right. Thank you. Oh, is that Pub Street right there? Pub Street, which is right there. That's Pub Street. Yes. Literally across the streets. Oh, man. So this is your room. Thank you, Peter. Oh man, this is beautiful. Yeah, this is nice. And this is exactly sunset, what I needed. Sunset view just right out there. 
Cool. So I get a nice sunset view and everything. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you, Peter. Thank you. Appreciate much. it. Thanks, Thank brother. You. Thank you. Appreciate much. you so Thank much. You Thank you. Thank you. Oh man, what great people, great hospitality. So yeah, this room, man, it's beautiful. So yeah, I got a king size bed, nice little couch, television, desk. Um, well, I guess two desk. Nice little vanity area. Over here, I get water, teas, coffees. They also have a mini bar, which is probably in here. Yep, there's the mini bar. Oh man, you know what? Prices aren't prices aren't bad. Look, dollar fifty, dollar fifty, two dollars for the beer. I might crack the beer open right now. You know what I'm saying? That's here is the closets. We got a safe. Some robes. Here's the bathroom. I like it. Yeah, nice spacious, nice shower head. Let's test this water pressure. Oh yeah, yup, that's gonna work. Shampoo, shower gel, uh, hair dryer, toothbrushes, shaving kit, comb, a nice tub. No, man, let me know what you guys think of this room. Now, I think this room cost me about close to like 75 US dollars a night. I'm gonna leave the price right here written down below. Um, but do keep in mind that prices always vary. But yeah, look at this. He wasn't joking, that is a beautiful sunset view. Man, welcome to Siem Reap, Cambodia. I didn't think I was gonna actually be back here this year, but here we are. Cool, I'm excited. This is where we're gonna be calling home for the next few nights. We got a nice balcony area. Yeah, this is dope. You know what? Let's actually head to the rooftop and check out the pool and maybe have ourselves a brewski. Thank you so much. Thank you, Peter, thank you. I had to, of course, come up and check out the rooftop and let me just tell you guys, man, this is incredible. It is so beautiful up here. So yeah, sun setting right now. I actually just had a nice view of Pub Street over here. This is actually where all the madness happens, where you see all the lights. So yeah, we're in a very centric location. And the rooftop is just, man, perfect vibe. So yeah, let me show you around. They got a lot of like seating areas up here. Right here is the bar. Hello, how are you, sir? I'm fine, sir. Can I get a one Cambodia beer? Yes. Thank you, thank you. Why not? That's how you kick off any any trip to Sim Reap. And it's been a while, so it feels good to be back here. We got a nice infinity pool as well. Oh man, I actually gotta make time to hang out in there while I'm here this week. I always forget to enjoy the pool area. But yeah, that is beautiful. And then it looks like right here they got a steam room. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of this place down in the comment section. And Please, if you end up booking this place, let them know that you came from this video. I think it'll really make them happy. Especially because they weren't expecting it, you know? Who doesn't like a nice little mention? But, yeah, look, they got another layer up top, too, where you can chill up on that rooftop. But, yeah, this here is beautiful. You know, last time I was in Siem Reap, I didn't stay in a place with a rooftop. And now I'm totally seeing, like, this is the vibe. You need to be in a place with a rooftop. So, yeah, essentially... I'm just gonna be hanging out here for the next few days, guys. Expect a lot of videos from Sim Reap. I don't know what I'm getting into yet, but it's gonna be good fun. There's gonna be plenty of um, memorable experiences to be made. But yeah, I think with this view, I'm gonna leave you guys um, with this video. I'll see you guys again soon for another video from here in Sim Reap. Let me know what you guys thought of that travel day. Let me know if you guys. Um, really enjoyed the life updates and let me know how you guys are feeling now that I'm back in Siem Reap Thank you, sir Okay, thank you. Thank you. So yeah with that being said, I'll talk to you guys again soon um, From here in Siem Reap later guys you were always smarter. I was the one to tag